Hetepu, Aslam Alaikum, Namaste, Haru Nefer, this is Gasak Ma Kiparu with a new video for you. And today I want to talk about um, India's dark skinned deities. But before I do that, I want you to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel if this is your first time watching, and be sure to share this video with um, family and friends so we can get this revolution started. Now, there is an article that has been written by Zina Ray, um, and this details how India is making some corrections or making a change in the way they perceive their deities. Now, India for a long time has had some issues with skin color. They were conquered by the Aryans, and many of the deities were changed in terms of the hue. But this has been a problem throughout the world with colonization. We see in Africa, especially in places like Nigeria, the beautiful black African women buying lights, uh, bleaching skin tone uh, cream, and to make themselves appear lighter. Here in the uh, United States, African American women using foundation makeup to make themselves look lighter. So what we have to understand is that your skin, the reason why it is dark is from melanin. Melanin um, uh, is useful to absorb sunlight, absorb the rays, and sunlight is essential. And because you have melanin in your skin makes you an integrated brain thinker. You're not left brain, but you are right brain thinker, consequently using both left and right brains. So what does that mean? You are a holistic thinker. So you see both sides of the coin, whereas uh, Europeans think primarily out of the left brain. They're polarizing left brain. doesn't mean that they don't use the right brain. But there is a connection between the absence of melanin and the left brain. But this is God's gift so that you could survive in a hot tropical climate, which we know um, was the first place or geographical region that gave birth to life on the planet. So I think this is a good thing of how India is now making this course correction. So let's go into this. Photos of dark-skinned deities challenge India's obsession with, with fairness. Um, the unrelenting obsession with fair skin in India has been a subject of discussion for years. It has inspired campaigns such dark is beautiful and hashtag bend the two, which encourage women to discard their fairness creams. And yet, the tendency to see fair people on television and in films and to uphold them as a standard for beauty remains strong. Apart from popular culture, there is also a bias over skin color and religious iconography. Now, this is very important because if the gods that you pray to, that you venerate, that you see on a daily basis at your church, your temple, your shrine, do not reflect your color. This can create a myriad of problems. Now, let me just go back into this art article. The myriad of Hindu gods and goddesses, Lakshima, uh, Gashnia, and Shiva, are often fair-skinned in their visual representation. The Facebook photo series titled Dark is Divine by photographer Narish Nell is subverting the narrative by portraying gods and goddesses as dark skin, which is awesome. Our idea was born of the very notion of acceptance of fair as divine, which to me is more about normalization of, of this concept in society. Now, um, let me just show you some of the photos that look absolutely beautiful here. Dark skin. One of the things in my travels and in my research that I've seen that many countries struggle with this, not just India and Africa, but Brazil recently, um, I believe they had a beauty contest and a dark-skinned Brazilian woman, beautiful woman, won the contest, but she became the subject of a lot of racial epithets and attacks, so much so that um, the crown was taken away from her and given to a, a fair, lighter-skinned Brazilian woman. And that is just not right, you know. Um, so let's look at some more here. Here's some more photos. They, they, it's beautiful photography, uh, wonderful. As you see, all dark-skinned depictions of the deities. Even Gandhi 
Um, I won't use the, the term Mahatma Gandhi. I'll just say Gandhi because he's not worthy of presenting a title. Um, struggled with the color complex because when he visited Africa, he tried to uh, incite a racial war. As you know, the, uh, the India was conquered by the British, and India today still has a class system or a caste system. Um, most Indians show apparent ignorance about the practice of exclusion and discrimination based on skin tone of a person, although it is a deep-rooted problematic practice embraced by both the oppressor and the victim. This single practice has become so widespread in India, more so in the past four decades, that it has taken shape along the same lines as colorism of the Western world. However, the manifestation of the color discrimination in India differs as it hides behind uh, various other variables, caste, class, religion religion, region, gender, and economics, a few of these variables. So again, this is a global phenomenon, and it has its roots in the pendulums or the ergogores, which are thought spirits that permeate the planet, and um, you have a thought spirit of, of uh, racism, white supremacy, which um, influences most people to think that the lighter you are, the better you are. But again, I say your skin is dark due to melanin, and melanin has a number of beneficial qualities. Um, the most important fact is it allowed our ancestors to survive, and it is an indication that those who have dark skin melanin complexion, specifically those who are, you'll find in Africa, who are blue-black, blue-black in complexion, it's a beautiful color, are some of the, the, the oldest people on the planet. They... They can trace their lineage back to the first man and woman. And, of course, we know that they were not the depiction that we see today of Eve and Adam. That is pure mythology. Let's continue. and we'll, uh, So, um, while the reactions to the images on Nell's Facebook page have been mostly positive, there are a few who have argued that the portrayals of Goddess Kali and Kaltara I'm, I'm really probably messing that up, <laughs> as dark skin in popular culture makes his project a biased one. The initiative is a creative endeavor based on our own observation in our everyday life, plain and simple. So um, I'm going to put the link to this article in the description box so you can refer to it. But I'm just going to say this. So this is a beautiful shot here. Um, really, really nice. That... Um, India has a history of colorism. I'm glad to see they're trying to tackle this, especially in the religious arena, because that's very important. So no matter what religion you come from, if the deity or deities you worship do not look like you, you're setting yourself up uh, for failure and mind control. Um, we see a lot of this in the African-American community with uh, black women still embracing the image of a white Jesus. And this, this, cre this creates the idea or the ideology that white men are of a godly nature. That needs to be corrected. And also, we must understand in white culture that uh, white people, white men, white women, have to deal and contend with the fact that Jesus... Um, historically, factually, was black, dark skin. He was not white. He was not European. So white people need to address that and embrace that truth. So anyway, check this article out. And um, again, subscribe to my channel and uh, hit the like button on this so we can get the word out. This is Kasankh Ma Keparu, son of Tuhuti and Maat Amin Ra.